in this video first we talk about triangle rule of vector addition according to triangle rule of vector addition if two vectors are represented by two sides of a triangle taken in same order then their vector sum is represented by the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order to explain triangle rule in detail consider two vectors vector a and vector b here vector a and vector b are taken as two adjacent sides of the triangle taken in the same order that is their arrows are pointing in the same sense then according to the rule their vector sum that is vector a plus vector b is given by the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order so here vector a and vector b are in the counterclockwise sense but vector a plus b is in the clockwise direction so they are in the opposite sense vector a and vector b in the counterclockwise direction whereas vector a plus b in the clockwise direction so this rule we call triangle rule of vector addition another rule for vector addition is parallelogram rule of vector addition according to parallelogram rule of vector addition if two vectors are represented by two adjacent sides of a parallelogram with the tails of vectors coinciding then the vector sum is represented by the diagonal through the common tails to explain parallelogram rule of vector addition in detail consider two vectors vector a and vector b arranged as the two adjacent sides of the parallelogram as shown in the figure here for vector a and vector b the common tail is at the point a according to the parallelogram rule the sum of vector a and vector b is given by the diagonal of the parallelogram that is ad therefore we can write vector ab plus vector ac equal to vector ad here vector ad is the sum of vector a and vector b after adding vector a and vector b the result is a new vector and this vector is also known as resultant vector since it is a vector it has both magnitude and direction to calculate the magnitude of resultant vector consider the parallelogram abdc obtained by using the vectors vector a and vector b as shown in the figure here theta is the angle between vector a and vector b the resultant vector is given by ad de is a perpendicular drawn from the point d by using pythagorean theorem we can write ad square equal to a e square plus d e square 
but AE is equal to AB plus BE. So in place of AE, we can write AB plus BE. Now by using the basic trigonometric idea in the triangle BED, we get BE equal to B cos theta, DE equal to B sin theta. Now, let us expand the first bracket, then we get A square plus 2AB cos theta plus b square cos square theta plus the last term will become b square sine square theta now by combining b square cos square theta and b square sine square theta we get b square so the left hand side is ad square and ad square become now a square plus 2ab cos theta plus b square therefore the magnitude of the vector ad is given by magnitude of vector ad is given by a d that is the square root of the previous expression and that become square root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. So, this represents the magnitude of the resultant vector when we add vector a and vector b. Now, let us find out the direction of the resultant vector. To find the direction of the resultant vector, we define angle alpha. Angle alpha is the angle made by the resultant vector AD with vector A. Now consider the right angle triangle AED. In this right angle triangle, tan alpha is equal to DE that is the opposite side divided by AE that is the adjacent side. Now in the figure AB represents the magnitude of vector A and BE represents B cos theta, DE represents B sin theta. Therefore, tan alpha equation becomes b sin theta divided by a plus b cos theta because ae can be written as ab plus be with ab given by magnitude of vector A and BE given by B cos theta. Also, DE is given by B sin theta. Therefore, the equation for tan alpha becomes tan alpha equal to B sin theta divided by A plus B cos theta. By using this equation, one can calculate alpha which defines the direction of the resultant vector with respect to vector A.